What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Jordan Stupar Show. I've been infrequent on this, but I'm glad to have you back. My name is Jordan Stupar. I'm the host and the guy running this show. If you're interested in sales, marketing, business, entrepreneurial stuff, then you're in the right place, and I'm going to get more frequent on these podcasts so that I can give you some info. Today, I've got a short one and a solo episode for you because we're in the middle of the holidays. It's December 9th right now, and uh, of course, we're looking down the barrel of all Santa Claus and shopping and holidays and spending money, and of course, you're in sales more than likely. Uh, I know that's a lot of the people that listen to me, so listen up. I've got some pretty reasonable and five good tips that you can follow to have more success in the holiday season. A couple of years ago, I ended up uh, really crushing my annual quota at my last sales job. I ended up putting up over $500,000 worth of revenue in just December alone, which was more than I had done in Q1, Q2, and Q3 of that same year. So I know a thing or two about selling things during the holidays. And of course, the holidays can be a, a time of the year where like things suck because business owners can be difficult to get on the phone because they've got money, they're out enjoying the holidays, ski trips, hanging out with their family, flying around the country, doing whatever, whatever it is that they want to be doing. And of course, it can also be a downtime for you, even if you're not selling B2B because people are just obviously more distracted than ever. So how do you sell better during the holidays? How can you stay focused? How can you finish the year strong? And how can you make that money? That's what I want to discuss with you guys right now. So if you happen to be selling during the holidays, tip number one that I have for you is stop focusing on selling during the holidays during the holidays. The truth is, is that you should be spending a load of time prospecting, filling up your pipeline, and getting to work before the month of December. Everything that happens in a monthly basis is usually a direct result of what you did the month prior, or two months prior, or three months prior, depending on how long your sales cycle is. So if you're just starting right now in the middle of December, thinking, oh my God, how am I gonna hit my quota? How am I gonna do what I need to do this month? It's already too late for you, and I'm sorry, but I am the bearer of bad news in that case. You should have began starting stronger earlier. It's one of the biggest mistakes that you can make is just starting now to freak out on how you're going to hit your quotas in December and how you're going to finish Q4 strong, is it's never about right now. It's about what you did so that you can continue following up and nurturing that pipeline of prospects so that you can kill the game in December. That's tip number one. Tip number two is people get a little bit harder to contact during the holidays because they're busy. There's lots of distractions. They're shopping. They're spending time with family. They're catching flights. And so tip number two is to leverage the power of social media and social selling to get in front of people that you might not otherwise be able to get in front of. For instance, particularly in B2B, you're never ever going to reach somebody at their desk phone if they're out of the office. And it's also likely that they have some type of autoresponder on their email, making that a difficult channel to get people's attention. So you would definitely want to connect with people on LinkedIn, Facebook, so that you can message them directly. And of course, you should be getting a cell phone number for folks. That's usually the best way to contact people directly. But if you don't have the cell phone number, I would highly encourage you to use the messaging tools on social media so that you can get directly to people versus having to chase them around on a phone call, hoping to cross your fingers, make a wish, and have them in front of their desk to pick up their phone during the holidays. Again, it's just unlikely. So beat up social media, take full advantage of those messaging services so that you can actually get in touch with the people that you're looking to get in touch with. That is especially for B2B, but also for those of you that are reaching out B2C, understand that people are distracted and they're busier than normal with all the other things that are going on. So being able to shoot them a message on Instagram, DM, Facebook Messenger, LinkedIn Messenger, Twitter private message, wherever it is, you're more likely to get a hold of people on social media. So use social media. Don't not take that tip. Tip number three is use holiday themed memes, gifts, and other type of things that you can use to get people's attention. Instead of just sending somebody an email to check in with them, maybe it'd be more appropriate during the holiday season to send them a meme of Santa Claus waiting for presents down the chimney or something that you can relate to you waiting around for them to call you back or to send that contract back. Again, it's holidays. It's relevant. So why not use Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Why not use trees underneath the, I'm sorry, gifts underneath the trees 
to actually get people's attention. These are the types of things that you might want to consider doing. It, you could also use, because it's the end of the year, you could also use sports analogies of somebody hitting a three to win a game and that's how you would feel if they actually called you back. There's a ton of different ways that you can relate to other people to get their attention and hopefully get them to take action on calling you back, texting you back, signing your proposal, whatever it is that you're trying to get somebody to do. So use relevant and entertaining content as it's related to the holidays to get people's attention. Tip number four, and this is a pretty strong one, is let your customers know what's in it for you here at the end of the year. Obviously, you're in sales. Everybody knows that salespeople get compensated by closing deals. And one of the things that you can use to your advantage is the fact that most people are good people and would like to help you if they could. I know that if you're waiting on getting a deal from me and you're letting me know that literally my deal would be the deal that helps get you into some type of incentive or bonus or make the top salesperson for the year or for the month or you'd win a trip or something, I would probably try my best to figure out a way to do that deal for no other reason but to help you out. And I, th I think that a lot of people would do that. In fact, I've used it many times in my sales career and I've had a lot of people close business with me in December because I was letting them know that, hey, there was a, a bonus that I was gonna get or something and in order for me to get it, I would need to get their deal done. And a lot of people, without any real incentive on their own to spend money or sign a contract, would do so just to help out little old me. So take advantage of the fact that other people wanna help you and let them help you. But the thing that you're gonna have to do is communicate to them that they are able to help you and then they'll help you. That's gonna happen more often than not. The final and fifth tip that I have for you so that you can sell more during the holidays is offer a deal. I'm not really much of a discount guy. But honestly, think about what e-commerce and like retail people do this time of year. They give you buy one, get one. They offer you 40% off this, 60% off that. Buy one, get one 50% off or whatever. Try to create an offer, if you can, that you can give to people with a deadline of December 31st. If you are able to sign this contract, we would give you some type of discount or we'll double up your service package or whatever it is that you can put into the deal to make it more valuable and, of course, incentivize people to do it now versus later. That's obviously a huge thing that people do in e-commerce and in retail to get people to take action who might not otherwise take action because it's a special offer for that time of year. So be mindful of the fact that you might also be able to do the same. And look, getting a deal in the door right now is a lot better than maybe getting a deal later on based on your terms, based on the offer that you have. I don't know about you, but I'd rather have 75% of the revenue I was hoping to get out of that deal in today than having to chase down 100% of it later on and probably having to offer a discount anyway. So if you have the freedom, the flexibility or autonomy to create offers, create an offer. Remember, you're not just selling your product or service, you're making an offer to somebody that they get to say yes or no to. And the more attractive that offer is, the better off you're increasing your chances of getting somebody to actually say yes to that offer. And those would be my tips right now for selling in December. If you're enjoying these tips, you liked this, you thought it was valuable, got you thinking, and maybe you're using some holiday memes right now of Santa Claus going down a chimney just the way you're going to do in order to follow up with that deal, and you like this, then all you got to do is subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you subscribe to the podcast. Hit follow, like, wherever you're seeing this on social media or whatever, because I'm going to keep this type of stuff coming. And it's going to be useful, it's going to be valuable to you, and it's going to help you close more deals. And that's all that we're trying to do. With that being said, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. This has been another little episode of the Jordan Stupar Show. Again, send this to a buddy, a friend, a manager, an executive, somebody that you know that wants to help close more deals during the holidays. And I will see you guys next time. 